If you have a dog, you know that dog loses its freaking mind when you come home every day. But why does it do that? Why does it, why would a dog get so excited and jump around and be just, just, well, the opposite of a cat when it sees you. Exactly. I'm a cat person myself, but it, it's, it's interesting to see that this happens so consistently. Yes. And it may go back to uh, where dogs came from, from wolves. So the way wolves greet each other is through licking, and well, that also may also be able to tell if they found food recently mm -hmm. and what kind of food and give me the food. I am a dog, wolf, and I want food. Uh, but different kinds of wolves evolved into different, uh, well, the wolves that were social with humans eventually became dogs, mm -hmm. and the wolves that stayed away stayed wolves. Yeah, which is it's interesting because uh, I think the, the re essentially you could look at the reason the dogs became dogs is mm -hmm. A, yeah, they're social, but B, like they were like, you know what I hate doing is hunting. Yeah, wouldn't so it be I, easier if someone gave me the food? Yeah, oh, here's people, and they throw stuff out. I'm just going to scavenge it and hang out. And then we saw them, and the ones that didn't either run away or try to kill us are the ones that we kept and bred and reinforced that over mm -hmm. time. And that was 10,000 years ago. And they're different. They're, they're literally just different, completely different. You, and they're not even like, it's not like the wolves that are around today are the wolves that were around when the two species, you know, they split into two different categories, or what subspecies or whatever. But... Uh, that's that's one aspect of it. I, so I think when we get back, those dogs who thought we were dead, when we left, they're like, oh, he's gone forever. Because they say in nature, when dogs are in a pack, mm -hmm. those, those dogs in a pack are like, well, there's literally no reason anyone would ever leave this pack. The reason we're here, the reason we have this social bond is so that we can survive together. And if you go out, you better have a damn uh -huh. good reason. Uh -huh. And so when we go away and we come back, they're like, oh, great, I don't have to hunt. I will have food. So this might be like if if you had a child and the child left and you're like, where's that child? Exactly. And then you <laughs> see it again. And, and, other, well, and also if you had a child, the way we love a, ch a child. But like imagine for you, if you're this dog, this mm -hmm. human being is the one who like you don't have to do anything. As long as you don't pee on the carpet, you, you, he's going to feed you pet you, give you whatever you need. If that entity left and then came back, you would lose your shit too, mm -hmm. you know? And then the other thing is, what's interesting about some of these studies is that the way that animals look at us, the way that the dogs look at yes. us is, they look at us as completely different than they look at other dogs. Well, some people like assume like we're part of that pack they think of us Do they as think of us as weird leader. dogs? Do they yeah. think of them as the alpha leader and us as the omega or opposite? Uh, Greg Burns, who's a neuroscientist who wrote How Dogs Love Us, uh, was looking at an experiment for this. Uh, dogs that were presented certain smells and scanners can tell the difference between dogs and people. Uh, they recognize the odors. They have a certain reaction to people that is different from other reactions. It, it, he's not really sure if dogs see us as part of the pack, but they understand that humans are friends. Right, they understand social groups, mm -hmm. and then they are able to understand that we fo we fulfill a different function within the social groups than other dogs mm -hmm. do. And so I think it's awesome, and, I, and there's nothing that makes you happier than when you see videos on the internet of like people who have been gone for a long time. And then the dog freaks dog. out. Yeah, and like just like falls asleep. Have you ever seen narcoleptic dogs? No. Dogs which when they get excited fall asleep. Oh. They're like, yeah. <laughs> mm. and so just, like, excited, he passed out. Come back to life. But yeah, I'm really, I really like this story because mm -hmm. it made me think of how happy dogs are to see you and how cats just don't really care. Uh, my cat cared. That's all I'm going to say. What did your cat it's, do? She would come home and follow me around, and if I sat in the chair, she would sit next to me on the armrest, and she'd be meowing and upset if I left the chair. Mm -hmm. So then I'd have to sit in a chair all day, but that is way off topic. Uh, audience, do you have a dog, and does your dog get super excited when you come back? Well, now you know why. Let us know about your dog experiences below in the comments, and please be sure to subscribe for more.